Well, g'day, g'day. While I cook this uh, sausage sizzle here, I thought uh, we might do a bit of a um, camp trailer update video. It's been a while, and um, a pretty significant uh, point in time hit about a fortnight ago, where we had a bit of a list about what we wanted to do, the camp trailer, and it was all ticked off to date. So, it's pretty much uh, where we want it to be for our personal needs. And um, since the last time I did one, um, there's been a few more a few more things added to it and uh, a few more things modified and um, yeah I might just uh, go through those now and just so if anyone else with this type of camper trailer sees anything they like well they can uh, build off what we uh, what we've done and um, maybe it'll help someone so anyway where do we start probably start at Michelle's little uh, bloody flies so you just come straight in start at Michelle's little uh, what do you call that, Dan? A kitchen roll. Kitchen roll. <laughs> <laughs> a little kitchen roll. Was, it was my idea, though. Of course so, it was. So Michelle used to um, have that uh, pretty well packed to a, oh, like Tetris, really. <laughs> but then uh, this thing here, I suggested maybe we should have a look at these kitchen rolls. And um, once again, we look like 23-0 fanboys and girls. But uh, it was just the one that um, was the best sort of jig, eh? With all the... Uh, different pockets in there so we got like the mixed herbs and the salt and pepper your bloody just your basic staples really that you want quick access to and it's got it out of that uh that cupboard there and it's made life a hell of a lot easier hasn't it though absolutely <laughs> yeah, do, you, do you mind just tending to them while i do this <laughs> My favorite. thank you oh what else this bathroom roll so this one here is only just a kmart one Michelle's seen it one day while at the shops and she just thought I'll grab that and that was only how much was that though? $24. 24 bucks at Kmart and all we've done is gone down to the canvas man he's whacked some sail track edge in it for us and um, yeah that basically has got all our toiletries on there and it slips in right in the sail track in between the two um, ladders and there's our shower there and when we've got this room on here that's just so easy isn't it? really easy and this, the canvas guy said um, that it's that well made he said uh, his advice because I got a, I wanted to get a quote to see if I should just get one made in canvas he said for 24 bucks keep that and when it breaks down a few years time buy another one yeah he was actually quite surprised how well it was made for that uh, that cheaper deal another thing actually Tony Renee had these things on their caravan these cheap Bunnings lights are only about five or seven dollars I'm pretty sure and that's just a really good alternative I've been doing my head in a bit about um, doing lighting on this thing and I've lit up the cage pretty well but I just didn't really want wires to go on like where it folds on the tent so um, we've just got these ones and we've added the velcro strips on them they do come with velcro strips but they're not really anything to write home about and they just um, push back in up there like that and in the dead of the night that um, you just switch that on they're just battery powered one on either side of the tent so if you get down at night time just flick them on and um, they're really good and they just rip off they'll go get stowed away and um, yeah they're just battery powered so that's uh, that's pretty easy and very easy installation and um, I'm guessing those batteries are gonna last a while because we've had them a couple of months now so it's pretty good one of the other things we started doing about 12 months ago is we started driving up on these little ramps they're always a pain in the ass about where to store them so I actually used some uh, awning brackets and cut them down just put this uh, aluminium rod through them and um, they just drop in there that's also another really a really good sort of multi-purpose thing so when michelle's got the dirty clothes bags on there at the moment but even like throw your towels over when you get in the shower throw your towels over it or whatever and um yeah it just gets a camper trailer up just that couple of inches and for me that makes me be able to walk underneath this tent very easily without having to duck my head and also the main thing around the other side where the awning is it's um a lot uh, more comfortable for me to be able to step in and out without having to duck my head everywhere. One of the main things I've done in the last couple of weeks, which I believe is a, uh, I hate the uh, term game changer, <laughs> but uh, it's a much improved upgrade. So this is just that boat decking you can buy. I forget what the name of it is. And um, it's just got self-adhesive on the back of it. And it comes with these little V-groove joints in it, so it folds very easily. And basically I've just cut them up and just whacked them on the stairs and that's taken all that dreaded foot pain away when you want to get up and down in the middle of the night or first thing in the morning. I saw the Drifter sell a similar type uh, 
bit of aluminium that's been folded in folded up in such a way where it just rivets along the front here and it corrects the angles because what's actually happening is you're stepping on the um the edge of the ladder rungs at those angles when it comes out so that's what's giving you all the grief but this pad here that's really inexpensive i bought a sheet off ebay for like 60 bucks and i've still got heaps left so i might end up hooking my mates up who've got uh, rooftop tents and uh, swing some their way because this is just like the best thing. Like, I can't stress enough like how good that is. <laughs> it's just, yeah, it's just excellent, but anyway. One of the other things we've done is uh, gone in and put um, another electrical upgrade. This camper, as I've said in previous videos, already had a bit of an upgrade from the previous owner. And uh, we've gone in and put the Red Arc charger in. That's a 50 amp charger. And we've got two 175 amp hour lithium batteries and currently we've been here for three days and um, the battery monitor says it's about 85% charged still and that's with a 25% um, headroom on it. Glenn asked if we could um, not, not use the solar on it this weekend to see how well she does and um, yeah as I said it's been three days I haven't put the solar on the trailer at all it's just been run the fridge lights pump all the usual stuff uh, one of the other things done is the um, suspension. So, uh, previous video that was a that was a big headache dealing with levels, but um, the product's actually a very good one. Uh, we towed it for the first time on that hundred kilometre of dirt road um, to get into here, and um, it's improved it like no end. And uh, I don't know. Do you notice it? I, just, I notice it driving. It's like it's a huge difference and. I thought it was pretty good before, so, uh, <laughs> and we had two, like and we had two bucket shock absorbers, so, but anyway, that might, that might be more the Hilux, but, uh, that's getting its birthday next week. Testing this stuff out, uh, I bought it, I'm not doing it for anybody, but, um, that's the Avery Graphics kind of Raptor coat film, and, uh, that's been hit a few times by some rocks, and she's, uh, holding up pretty good, so I've done a few trips with it now, and, uh, with that on the front. And basically the front of that toolbox was getting smashed by rocks bouncing up underneath. And um, we put that on there and there's only like one or two spots where it's um, pierced through. So uh, that seems like it's potentially a pretty good, um, pretty good product and an alternative to spraying your car in that Raptor coat, which everyone seems to be doing. You could potentially just wrap it in that. And it's, it conforms around the corners and everything, all good. So variety of colours and everything, so you can get whatever you want really. And I've also wrapped the... Um, this pole, but pole carrier in it. So that's been an addition as well. So I've bolted that to it and um, wrapped that in the same coating, but that's uh, really good. That's got a few extra temp poles in it, things like the shower floor and uh, things like that. So that's been a very good addition as well. You just pop the cap off, get stuff in and out as you need. As I said, just a few poles, all the stuff for the tent awning. Um, yeah, shower floor, all sorts of things you can fit in there. So yeah, that's very good. Just bought the 2200 one, I think it was, 2200 long. Had to cut it to, I believe it's 1.8 now. But um, that's just perfect. You can get to it at both sides, but we mainly get to it this side. The awning skin, we changed over a couple of weeks ago. Uh, first time out in it. I've installed it pretty well. It's nice and tight. And um, it's, yeah, as I said, way better quality than the last one. So we're pretty happy with it. While on the topic of the awning, I've, uh, I mentioned in a previous video just before we did change the skin, but the factory, um, the Oztrack factory position for the, uh, I haven't filled those holes in yet either, I forgot about that. <laughs> anyway, the, um, yeah, the old one used to sit here off the side, so I've uh, just bought some Bunnings brackets, welded a back brace on it because there was a bit of, um, bit of wobble in it and didn't want it to break. Moved it back 50 mil and as you can sort of see up there, that means that that awning will, uh, the rain will just drop straight onto the straight onto the awning at the front here and at the side here as well. That'll improve the uh, weather through the thing and I know that's been a common question I've been getting, especially the water coming through this part, but that's now set back and with it dropping onto about here, that's just gonna save any water and basically no water's ever come in there anyway for in our experience, but um, it's basically fail safed it, so we should be pretty sweet there. Uh, one other thing, I've gone around and put grippy tape on uh, these sorts of surfaces where you find yourself climbing, even on the edge here, when you're climbing up to the tent, on the uh, wheel arches as well. 
and um, they're really inexpensive, just Bunnings. You can buy grip tape in rolls, whack that on there. It's really durable, self-adhesive. Just clean the surface properly before you do it. And um, that's just also made for just a little subtle, like really good upgrade if you want to climb all over stuff, which we commonly do anyway. But um, yeah, just you're not slipping on your ass then. So that's a good thing, hey, Dal? <laughs> Righto. Well, that's, uh, that's about all there is to talk about at this point in time. Uh, there's only one other thing I was thinking about doing and that's putting some uh, vents in the um, fridge section on the door that I can close off and um, you know whenever we're on a dirt road or whatever I can close it off so there's not going to suck heaps of dust in but uh, one thing we have been seeing a little bit lately is fridges failing basically because they're in a hot compartment. We've got heaps of room in that um, compartment with that fridge but if we were to upgrade the fridge there'd be less room around it and um, yeah as I said there's been uh, a few fridge failures we've seen recently that's due to um, fridges just running hot in confined spaces. So I think if we had some sort of air vent on the rear door, uh, when we're not on the dirt roads, like I said, we can just open those vents and um, get some fresh air in there. As I said, the list we've had for probably over 12 months at least is officially scrubbed off. I'm gonna leave it there. And uh, if anyone's got any questions, just hit me up. Happy to answer them and um, yeah, have a cracker. I want to go get a fish on. <laughs>